back in. The, the resolution last pick is still alive and well. Yeah, that's how they've been playing. It's, it's, it's like the opposite strategy. All of a sudden picking resolution heroes first. But like an offline, I'm not a huge fan of that. Not a huge fan. I'll be running out of time. What do they need here? The answer is a gyrocopter as well as a Luna. <laughs> Just going the basic, I guess. All right, sure. The standard. Yeah, sure. I it matches up relatively well against Death Prophet in the mid lane. We've seen that matchup a number of times. Yeah, it's, it's just a normal solid pick. Nothing wrong with it. Luna Gyro. Matches up decently well because you get the R on the Gyro. Five Quite a lot of damage. Remaining. Juggernaut. Yeah, it's okay. Still think they're gonna put like an off lane? I really don't like that. I don't know. I, I think it's uh I think they have the option to do like resolution in the bottom lane plus a support or something. Yikes. Oh sniper versus Luna and Gyro. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, that is traditionally a a, a good one to one counter pick. Yeah. It's a really fun hero, and it's it's strong. We don't see a lot, and you look at when you last picked this hero, what do they have for it? They can't run into this hero. They have to get Axe somehow to reach him. That's going to be hard, because he's going to go have to go through uh, Lycan. And he, there's and still DP. a swap available. Yeah, and a swap save. So, hmm. I still would say Secret's lineup just looks more solid. I'm a little bit worried. Sniper is going to be able to carry this game. This is snaking off lane with the lichen. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, not a huge fan. I'm gonna say a secret Five myself. Remaining. Do you think they're like they're gonna run sniper in the side lane against this Axe Gareth Mage? Right, he's far enough back. He's not very threatened by these heroes. No, I just I don't think that's you, now with the new W on Axe because like no money can uh, harass him okay. out a lot. Skyverse. So Death Prophet side lane instead? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. probably because Skyverse harass something that Sniper cannot deal with. It would get harassed out. Unless they try lane it. If they could, they could try lane it. But then you have Lycan bottom against, or top against a Ogre hitting him. And that's not very fun. So we'll see, we'll see. That eventual spear. If he's going to be, I'm trying to think, like, is he going to be babysitting the snaking Lycan? If so, if he matches into the Ogre, like, the Ogre has so much armor, your physical damage doesn't feel good. Right-clicking uh, Ogie McGee over there. Can we pause? What's going on? Pause the game. All right. Who was that? Maybe that's why Secret ran through all of their time. Yeah. Maybe some sort of tech issue or something. It's, uh... Apparently, we haven't had it to fill enough time. Yeah. Today, Bulldog. Eh. We're going to get one more series where. It's going to be a fun match, at least, I think. Yeah. The sniper matchup mid, you have the the rocket spam. It's pretty annoying for uh, for the sniper. And it's also very squishy. So if you, you could skip the barrage and just spam out the other two spells as much as possible. I was, uh, I was talking to somebody about this. Uh, one of my problems with sniper right now is the fact that. Like, even when there aren't the traditional, quote-unquote, gap closers against Sniper, everybody runs so fast now that you, you literally just run at the Sniper and you can close the distance pretty quickly. Lunar Gyrocopter, yes, they are short-range heroes. Yes, they are traditionally countered by Sniper, but <laughs> they do move very quickly. And I think that is just an inherent problem for Sniper, that everyone gets these movement speed talents and such. Yeah, that's absolutely true. When uh, with the new change they've done with the the uh, the new uh, agility giving you movement speed and also the talents, they have really good talents. Mid one uh, on Gyro has a uh, they nerfed the talent movement speed a bit, so it was a little bit too much for certain heroes, I guess. But still, as you say, they're gonna run super fast. And uh, apparently, Yapsor had to go to the bathroom. All right, I mean that's <laughs> nice. That sounds professional gamers. Wasn't there a break between the series? What happened? Yeah. Maybe Yapsir's just got a small bladder. 
That's unbelievable, actually. That's some envy move. I remember you know, <laughs> playing with envy or something. He's like, I gotta go wash my hands in the middle of the game. <laughs> His hands were too cold. He <laughs> needed to go to the bathroom to put them <laughs> under the hot water to warm them up. I remember. Yeah. I remember that game. Oh, that was you guys playing against envy? I think I was watching it, but. Oh, okay. Don't think Valve will accept this as a TI. <laughs> don't think they will accept this. Yeah, you guys, uh, Team Secret better start training their, uh, their bathroom habits a little bit better for these official matches. I told the app sorry I was going to flame him before the game, too, if he screwed anything up. And we haven't even gotten out of the draft screen. He's already done that. Yeah, sir. That guy, is, that guy is a that guy is a goon. That guy does not have a whole lot of like. Uh, he doesn't have the largest social media presence. We don't see him like uh, stream a whole lot. Not so much anymore since he joined Secret. But for for the audience out there who who hasn't really gotten to know Yapsor, that kid is so adorable. He's just like one of those fun loving guys. Him and uh, G H, yeah. the two the two just like feel good four positions that are just kind of like. Always happy, always having a good time. You just like being around them. They're just fun people. And really good at Dota. And very good at Dota. Yapsor being one of the, probably one of the best uh, FCG 4s right now, in my opinion. Usually like, stands out quite a, quite a lot when he plays. Yeah. So, All right. Unpause time. Away we go. Just got to finish the pick screen here, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, my biggest complaint about the the draft screen when we're on panels and stuff is you see the final pick and then we go straight into the game so quickly yep. that you don't get to time you you don't really get time to digest the drafts. And I guess all that complaining is now karma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit too long. The drafting and everything is quite long. They even uh, added more time, I think, very yeah. recently. So Prepare not sure who complained about that. But someone probably did to Ice Frog. All right, so we've got uh, Disruptor going to be going with the Lycan to the top lane. Vengeful Spirit will uh, chill out at bottom with the Death Prophet. So those are going to be our matchups. Pumpy's actually going with uh, Fada to start rather than the traditional Sky Axe lane. Kind of uh, swap, possibly. I thought it, with the Sky matched up against the Death Prophet, I thought that was going to be all the more reason. You, you don't want to have the other melee hero in that lane. At least yeah. that's what I thought, anyway. I think it's uh, on other hand, you, you want the uh, range with Luna because of the aura. Ah, uh, true. As Ogre can't really benefit that much from it. But I, I like him more bottom as well. Ogre doesn't really care about the other two heroes. And it looks like he's swapping here. All right, switching up. So they are doing what we expected. Put the ogre and the Luna. BGJ Storm are going to match that. They are also going to swap. So Peruni. Three runes. Yup, sir, man up for the love of God. Oh, he's manning up for it. He's going for it. All right, secret one. You can see fast, huh? net worth difference one thousand. Easy. Win probability, 55% already. Wait, what? Why is, what? Why is it in VGJ Storms? Well, shouldn't it be secret winning the game right? What? Oh, they are. What do you mean? On screen, it just showed, uh, it just showed the win probabilities in favor of, yeah. It's, oh, your win probability, but that's... It's Gabe. in the favor of VGJ Storms. That's something Gabe and personally worked on coding and it's not very reliable <laughs> what are you talking about me not going to see did you just straight up insult <laughs> game oh, it's programming game. we are good we're, we're close oh okay okay <laughs> all right oh, so we're back to the lanes we kind of expected the battle hunger skywrath mage harassment going into the death prophet i gotta feel great meanwhile Snake King is going to get the opportunity to farm against the Luna. I think he should be able to do pretty well because uh, the harassment of Luna and Ogre should be yeah. kind of matched by his natural regen. But like his damage is so high. He's really good at CSing. So yeah. it's Luna, so it's pretty even here. And Ogre, 8 armor, nothing wrong there. 
about this mid matchup? You have any idea how gyro sniper goes? I'm presuming it's pretty favorable for sniper. Yeah, I would think so as well. I'm not. It's it's. Oh, MSS low in the top lane. Yeah, do that taunt all you want, MSS. But Yapsor will take you down. I just realized they both have Bok Bok taunts. Yeah, we're gonna hit a lot of that this we're game. <laughs> a lot sure. of clucking. Yeah, middle uh, sniper should win it, but I'm not sure how powerful uh, the homing missile fucking is, is. You could just harass him out, possibly. Sniper does not have that much region yeah. in the lane. If you, even if you got like a, a bottle on gyro, you spam nos up, get all the runes. Mm -hmm. I like that. And you can easily rotate middle with an ogre. He even gets a haste now. Uh, it's pretty full middle. Yeah, it's Ignite could level Fire Blast if he really wants to try and go for this kill, but Resolution sitting underneath his tower right now. Ludus being dove back to the tower, and he's dead. No. Leaves his uh, carry alone and immediately just loses his life in a Disruptor Lycan lane. Hmm. They are going to go here. Resolutions going to be caught out. Next to this Tier 1 tower, Ogre will dive it, tanking up the tower shots. Gets a Fairy Fire, pops it, but Puppy... He'll commit, has the magic stick charges, so he won't die to the tower either. Pretty close, but I, I'll take that trade. Mid one getting that kill. Uh, again, the resolution has so far been pretty much the key to VGJ winning, so... Killing him, giving a, an unfavorable matchup some help mm -hmm. with the gyro, pretty good. And as the Luna dies, it seems a little counterintuitive, but he does get to go into the lane he preferred, and they... Well, he has a TP, the Axe won't, so if... If uh, VJ Storm try and just match match the rotation here, they can actually still get it. It's gonna have a much easier time CSing here. Yeah. Does that Lycan's damage is... Uh, one of the highest, and you obviously want to have Axe, a melee against Lycan, but yep, they do swap a Rooney. Easy. The supports don't necessarily have to move. They don't want to. SVG spotted by Yapsor and Fada while he's trying to go for the pole. He's going to take a lot of damage here. They're going to turn. They need to fight Yapsor to make sure SVG stays alive. SVG still going to go down, but maybe they trade out Yapsor in return. Fada does not have the call, but Yapsor will still live. Concussive shot, and maybe they can actually chase him down with a battle hunger. He's just going to right click Yuar to death. A big win, it looks like. Maybe with a magic stick. You are getting back to the tier two. Fought is going to go for the die. The battle hunger, it takes him down. Take. MSS gets here. Yapsor, he'll be found. Kinetic Field is going to be able to lock Fada inside. But can these two supports really take on Fada? The Death Prophet, they're going to glimpse him back. Death Prophet doesn't actually TP. He doesn't have one. He's not going to be able to get here. But the supports might be able to take down Fada anyway. Tries to put himself into the trees, but. Thunderstrike reveals you, so Fada still dies. <laughs> still sure pretty good. About it. There's three here's bottom now, and killing the Yavar, the DP. Illusion. Really good. And we see the, the no how annoying it is with the the concussive shot and an axis battle hunger. So strong. Yeah, battle so hunger strong. just got buffed far too many times, and now it's just uh, I mean it's you play a support against an axe. Especially the Sky Axe lane, you just want to kill yourself. And, you, well, the enemy will do it for you. Yeah, and he's even maxing it. Lycan is going to be chased down over here, trying to go for the five-minute runes. Puppy will deny him that, body blocking him as much as possible. Snaking with no boots, can't really get away very quickly. Ace taking a lot of damage from the wolves, though, with SVG here. Snaking managed to get a healing salve up, keeping himself alive, and Ace will die instead. Puppy still trying to get that kill, body blocked again by the wolves, sent back by SVG. What a play from Snaking, and a great rotation by the support of SVG. Jesus, he's tanky. God damn, he took so much damage. <laughs> that is that, uh, that's that three HP regen that you get. Yeah. And the change to the wolves there, they buffed them so they do more damage. Yeah. Definitely came into play there. Bottom lane. Healing south, go back to full. Can't be too low against the Axe Skyrath Mage dual lane. Normally you just W and then you deny or kill a creep, so it's gone, but when you're doing this lineup, you just W him and then you probably just run at them so they can't do anything. Yeah, and you can see it here, MSS, he's gonna be caught ace, rotated down to this lane, MSS still had the stacks, he's gonna try and get away from Sky with Mage, and he will do so successfully. Last nuke could not come out outside of vision. Yapsor is gonna stick around a little bit, 
MSS thought about going for the stun or something, but. And again, can uh, VGJ Storm just match the TP rotations? You are. He doesn't have a TP, neither does the Lycan, so both these cores are ill equipped to be able to match this rotation again. Death Prophet out of position, the axe comes back to take him down. Meanwhile, top lane, Puppy just chilling out here. Man fighting against a Disruptor and a Lycan. Looks like he may end up going down, though. Combination of uh, the control from SVG and the Lycan's damage make short work of that tanky ogre. Really important to get the DP there. When you rotate your carry like that, you need to get something done because meanwhile, all this happening, Lycan somehow is top CS. Like he's doing great right now. Yeah. He's even top net worth, so... And then it did manage to get the DP, but still, this Lycan offlane is working out pretty well. And we haven't had uh, another rotation onto the Resolution Sniper, so he's been free farming pretty well. 30 and 14, the Gyrocopter is a bit ahead of him at 34 and 19. Axe going to stick around the bottom lane. They're going to go for the Death Prophet again. They identify Yawar's hero as being incredibly important. They just want to shut him down as many times as possible, and it's working too. Bottom tower. Yeah, not sure even if they see him as important. It's like, Radiance hey, a free kill. Let's just kill that guy. He's just standing there. Easy. It's so easy to kill him, and he's so under farm right now. Yeah. They could possibly go for more. How long is that? Slow. You need to block him. Ah, oh, he's dead. And the battle hunger goes off. Do the taunt. Weak. Neither one of them taunting. Mid one. Like it for him. Going to be activated. He managed to catch mid one with the wolves wrapping around behind. Kind of blocking him inside of the trees. The call goes down as they get the send back. Lycan, he gets away from mid one for too long. Thanks to that weird interaction of the taunt and the glimpse. He can at least still run down Yapsor. But Yapsor almost getting the kill on the disruptor here. Hides away into the trees a little bit longer. Snake King is now run out of his transformation. Going for the kill on SVG. Needs one more shot. He'll get it. Yapsor will die in return. But still, it should have been a lot better. Snake King was really hoping to be able to kill that gyrocopter. Yeah, he got him pinned down in the trees there with his summons. <laughs> Pretty nice, but the glimpse and the call, Blackens is out of there. And Ogre, it's level four, he needs some levels, and the Lycan is just taking over the game right now. It's pretty yeah. safe. Not getting the towers here, it's 200 gold. A little bit dance game, you gotta get those towers here, especially with Lycan, you got a lot of damage. Wolves do surprising a lot of damage on towers. Well, at least he didn't get it denied. Puppy yeah. tried for it. Yeah, if he got it denied, that's just an insta loss. Pretty much at this point of the game. Or that's the true. The, the advantages would have stacked up. First the, bound, the three bounty runes yep. at the start of the game. Then a denied tower. And now a dead support. And a very dead MSS. You are going to try and come in. Spirit Siphon. Maybe MSS is actually okay. Managed to get the magic missile on the Fada. Slowing him down further and further. Another nuke from Yuar should do the trick. A dead axe. Now Midwan, though. He's going to try and get vengeance. Yuar pops his exorcism to try and fight Midwan, but the damage is just too much from a gyrocopter. Still, though, he output enough damage that maybe the supports can clean him up. Midwan turns and fights with the magic stick, but a shot from the sniper. Finish him off. MSS versus Yapsor. The two supports are incredibly low, but a sniper is just enough to be able to even the odds out to BGJ Storm's favor. MSS kills the opposing support. Super important rotation by resolution there. That could have gone a lot worse than it did. And it's gonna be fun to see him play with this hero because he's not. This is not a hero you're just gonna go split push all game. But this is a hero you want to fight a bit more. But this game is gonna be pretty fun to watch, I'm sure. And going for the dragon lance, you need that range. Oh no! All right, secured it. SVG gets that other bounty room and gets a glimpse back on a puppy. Now snaking does have that transformation. If he wants to pop the shape shift, he's gonna pop it now as he sees the Skyrath Mage, and he's gonna try and run down Sky as well. Uh oh Skyrath. this is deep he's pretty fast but he's gonna be slowed down by the hellbear this is out on that stun yapsor managed to get into the trees but hey, there's just too many Team. too much nobody is gonna try and save yapsor from that like and it seems <laughs> there's not much you can do unless gyros are up and ready for everything yeah and the uh, svg with some genius drafts are just destroying them right now it's looking really good and ogre doing nothing this game so far I guess uh, Pup is okay with just being a Bloodlust uh, spellcaster at the end game. Because right now, he's not achieved much at all. The pressure from uh, Storm right now is going to be pretty intense. They're easily going to be able to kill Roche with this lineup as well. This is this is quickly going to get out of control for 
Deeper down unless they do something. Hey, maybe they don't kill the Lycan, but they kill the Helm and Dom creep, and that's 200 gold. That is a lot of gold. Do you, uh, what is this? Uh, the Vanguard build for the Axe. You think Vanguard first was necessary? This isn't a Blink Dagger rush game? Mm, the Vanguard is always good. It's like standard. Because if you have the Blink Rush, you kind of you die so e easily. Like, yeah. it's ridiculous. So. I'm absolutely fine with it. Mid one coming in, they've got the soul on MSS. They get the reveal onto resolution. Now he gets out of range of that second blast, but he does have the battle hunger on top of him. SVG is here as well. Managed to get the kinetic field. No, mid one runs right through it. Static Storm goes out. Resolution, he can turn to fight because mid one can activate the rocket barrage. An assassination will finish him off. Yeah, sure. Trying to dive in deep for the kill. Can't get that one. Final won't make it out either. VGJ Storm. Jesus. They I are granted a huge boon underneath that tier one tower. Oh my, that looks like, oh, that sniper, then they're going to get out. It just. I thought it was going to TP out because he blocked all those spells. Yeah. But he's like, I'm going to kill you instead. That's a better option. He's going to man fight. True alpha male there. And this is, <laughs> as he just said, like this game is getting out of control very quickly. And that just adds to it. This is not, not good at all. Four course now. DP was like at the bottom. And now it's at the top. Not good. We're going to have a uh, Maelstrom being built by Resolution Sniper. Already has the level 10 talent for the extra bit of damage. Snake King just took a tier 2, so that'll speed things along both into his Necro Book as well as his Core's Farm. As you said, the Death Prophet, he was terrible situation, but now he's going to have a relatively well-timed uh, Yule Scepter, it looks like. The comeback from Secret is not very good this game. Ogre it doesn't yeah. uh, add a lot. and You need that Axe Dagger, and that's going to be a while now. And again, just another vision kill. game. Quite strong with the sniper assassinate combined into the glimpse. We we saw that a lot from uh, the the Doom. I remember there was a Birmingham game where they just like with Doom glimpse. What are you gonna do? Yeah. And this Luna is so poor. And he's got Necronomicon, so Ace can't even fight back very easily. Pops the Eclipse. Most of it's going to be soaked up. Some of the damage ends up on a like in that last flat cannon shot. It's chasing him down, but the regen's too... Oh, no, it's not too what? strong. He uh, died. That was 100 damage from that shot. Whoa, Yawar gets far too close. Fortunately, there's a swap back. They need a little bit more damage to finish him off. Spirit Siphon gives him that HP. Battle Hunger taking him down, but Fada has to run himself away. Yawar will TP back to base, fearing the Battle Hunger. Is enough burn. I don't know how he died there. He had 100 health. That was, <laughs> I was sure it was gonna live. It's like 14 minutes in. I guess it was, uh, it had uh, maybe the Luna Aura on it. On yeah. Top, so. so he hit it for about 135 damage, I think, when the Lycan or the, uh, the Luna Aura was near him. Still, Secret is in a very bad position. The comeback is really bad. Axe, let's see how much gold he's got. He's got 800. It's gonna be rough for him to come back here. And Luna is getting really poor. She just wants it creeps now, and she needs to do it for a long time to be relevant. Yeah. And and we would feel more comfortable with a Luna lineup being behind and just saying, okay, the Luna can farm and get back to the game if he wasn't facing up against the Sniper, right? The Sniper is just such yeah. a good counter to this Luna that it feels that the small comeback mechanism that Luna has is not gonna be nearly as effective. And it's got his Mjolnir soon. Usually go. Uh, sometimes you go Mask Commanders, but he decided to skip it. So he's probably going to go. Uh, either he's going to get uh, Force Step and Pike after to that, or. Uh, going to need BKB at some point, probably as well. Yeah. Or just Mjolnir. Those items, basically. And then he's going to do so much damage. He's got a very cool set as well. MSS will TP away from that bottom lane. They're just going to give up their tier one. There's no sense in taking that fight, especially when BGJ Storm are already up. They've got a tower advantage. And they can just play for, uh, damn, almost a Necro Book 3 already on Snaking. We looked at him just moments ago, and it felt like he was just getting his Necro Book. Now he's on the max iteration, coming in fast. The defense here coming through. Black Cannon doing work. They're gonna have to back off. And yeah, the Necro is a really good counter against Luna, of course. We got all the summons. Gonna soak up all the Luna ults. She's not gonna do anything. She's so weak. So weak. We need a lot of time. 
DP going to standard build A on this. Oh, they got Ace. They're gonna glimpse him back. Static Storm just to make sure he can't use an Eclipse. Being behind, you need somewhere to farm, so you p gotta play a little risky, and then you get cut out. It's my flame him, but uh, he has to do it. He yeah. has to farm somewhere. Snake King uses the last little bit of the shape shifts. Gonna farm up this ancient stack. It's available to him. And VGJ Storm, like, there's no real need for them to progress from here, right? Like, they don't have to take more objectives if they don't want to with this like, and they could just kind of chill out and let. Uh, Lit Resolution, get his farm. Maybe they wait even until uh, BKB is up on the Lycan. Then who's going to stop him? There's nobody. Mm -hmm. Even the Axe is going to be very ill-equipped. It's going to be a momentary pause on this Lycan because he won't have Blade Mail for a while. And the goal now is probably, they, if they just get one or two kills, they can they can rush so quickly with their lineup. They got the Vengeful, reduce his armor, and Lycan just destroys it as well. So. Roche is uh, an objective they do want to get pretty soon and they kill it so fast you just need a kill and then it's super easy so maybe a smoke could even smoke in for it a little bit risky though yeah through k gold lead for vgj storm but it feels a lot more is uh 3500 experience lead for them as well just the nature of the fact that they have a pretty good control of the map. They could just play around their mid-tier one tower with Sniper and Death Prophet if they want. They got the dagger now, so this is their moment. They want, they need to do something. They need a success. Oh, the silence! You want hits all of them, and it completely halts the initiation from Secret. Two already down. A glimpse, glimpse back from mid one. Awkward lead position. That's okay. Each J Storm. And hey. that's the one or two kills they need, and now they, they could just gave that to them. Yeah. So, all right. And what the hell was Puppy? Why is Puppy running first? Why is Puppy running first giving vision? So he knows I need to silence. And by luck getting the axe, just yeah. let the axe run first because he's an initiator, Puppy. You should know that. Like in popping his form, going for Yapso on the bottom lane. Assassination stops the TP. Teamwork right there. It does indeed make the dream work. Shadowblade build for resolution. The greedy guy he is, is not going to be going for uh, the Hurricane Pike or the BKB. He does love that item. Not sure where you would go with this game, though. It feels like you just go... Uh, you can even go Mjolnir really quickly this game, and you will destroy the axe. Yeah. The Shadow Blade does not seem like the optimal item this game be a great active to put on a hero like death prophet as well Literally yeah or you can just finish in. up your pike as well ace you caught really inside the static storm a big pickoff but the static storm doesn't last long enough the eclipse is going to go down you are going to struggle to finish off this kill you'll have to buy some little time but a call will not allow the thunder strike from svg will claim it can they feel getting away from mid one uh, be okay for now but now the ultimate the slow down he sends back fada oh he's staying alive the nerf mid one He's going to try and get close enough to get a missile onto him, but SVG hides his way into the trees. He tried to go for a flat cannon play off the tier one tower. That doesn't work either. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You see, like, a nerf oh, 25 less damage on level two. Eh, yep. it doesn't matter. He just lived because of it. <laughs> he just lived because of it. Feels good, man. And now, if he wants, he can get cheeky with it and try and get those 20-minute bounty runes that are just about to spawn. VGJ Storm have... Good control of the right hand side of the map, so they even get it a little bit of push from this Lycan with his Necker book out. Storm in a really good position right now. Lycan, one of his problems is his early game is not it's pretty good, but the shapeshift has super long cooldown. And now it's got level two, almost three, and it's got the cooldown reduction. Mm -hmm. So he he's becoming really scary now. He's gonna go for BKB and AC. It's gonna be unstoppable this game. Luna is way too far behind. Like once once he gets BKB, so will I can he'll just click her and she'll be like, yikes. That's what she's gonna be like. <laughs> I hear you know how we can kinda hear the the Chinese casters? I just heard them talk about the Shadow Play. I'm pretty sure they're saying the same thing we are. <laughs> this is a Shadow Play game resolution. Sometimes it makes sense because you're like in and out with certain heroes and yeah. it's hard to get caught, but You've never been caught. You're always going to be on the edge of the fight. 
They're Some... not gonna really go on you. So what is the Shadow Blade for? If you just look at the raw stats. For... Oh my God, oh. Puppy! Puppy, be careful! <laughs> Holy shit! Puppy coming through. <laughs> Don't underestimate the necros. Yeah, that was that... just uh, straight up necro books, no shape shift. Casually killing one of the tankiest supports in the game, or almost anyway. What a sad light. He's trying to work on Urn right now. And SVG, props to him, did stick around and picked up both those bounty runs. Yeah, and uh, that's really bad for the tower and net force. It's like everything zoop going straight up right now. That's bounty room power for you right there. Looking to set up a tier two push. After all, all their abilities are off cooldown. They see Fada right now. That'd be nice, nice little pick off, but they'd be fighting around the shrine area, and maybe that's not where they want to be. You are taunting Fada to go for him here. I think he was trying to queue up the Yule Scepter. So if Axe did blink into him, he'd get that instant disable. One of the best counters against Axe. You have a Yule here, you Yule when he calls. Yeah, like, okay, you don't do anything anymore. Um, yeah, now with this lead, they need to keep pushing here. There's no reason they shouldn't. And they're just going shape balls shift. deep. Activated with a glimpse. Every single time you pop shapeshift, the enemy team has to run away as long as you have some vision of them. You're going to guarantee one kill. They're going to make the fast play into Ace. Ace. They know where he is. MSS TP to the tier one tower, catches him with a magic missile. Now Snake King Shapeshift has worn out. Ace is gonna try and stand and fight here. The Eclipse going out, being tanked up. Now the Kinetic Field plus the Static Storm will finish him off. SVG on a dominating spree. At resolution with his uh, Shadow Blade. VGJ Storm are just not stopping. They're gonna go for mid one now. And they force out a BKB, that's good enough for them. Yep. Got a lot of damage. Uh, they have vision, but through. you can see SVG was trying to get some sort of play on mid one with the glimpse. Doesn't work though. Could poke. Uh, they should poke now because he used the gyro ult. Yeah. And they got the DP ult right now, so perfect time to push a little bit. Probably can't commit here, but maybe some damage. Or did yeah. he gonna play it really safe? You got the siege wagon out. You got a sniper. No reason not to take whatever oh, yeah, chip damage. Click your ult and hit a little bit. Taunted. Aeontis. That will easily stop the initiation of the Axe Sky time and time again. It's weird that they don't commit a bit more, because you look at, what, like, what do they have? The Gyro, who doesn't have ult at that point. Mm. Luna is dead, she doesn't have anything. What, what do they do against it? You just get the tower there. This is a case where teams just play too safe. Like, oh, we're winning, you just play it safe. No, you can take that tower easily if you want. And when your ult is down on DP, it doesn't matter. You're still in a super good position. It's not like Roche is up or anything. Yeah. Playing it way too safe there. Classic. Classic Dota 2. Secret push into their off lane jungle area again. Just want to be playing on a high ground. Want to try and stay away from these uh, fights. VGJ Storm, Puppy. Again, they're gonna go for it. Just run these heroes at them. If a hero is close enough for the glimpse, they'll get it. You're slowing down the gyrocopter more and more. Snaking, playing careful. They do manage to get the glimpse. That's gonna force another BKB charge. This combination is just so hard with your, when you're ahead like this, right? Yeah, it's so annoying. They're just stuck in their base right now. They can't do anything. This is terrible. And they're gonna find all the wards too. They just found uh, two different wards with that push out from the Lycan, so that was pretty valuable. And you get so punished now, because the runes are gonna spawn in one minute, and if they don't contest them, if they give away all four, you're gonna lose the game. Simple as that. You cannot give away every rune every five minutes. As a w very easy way to lose the game. BKB Lycan. Yeah, he's a monster now. Luna is like, uh, guys, I, I got... Oh, it's, you shouldn't even go BKB. All right. <laughs> Enjoy being eaten alive by Lycan. <laughs> yeah. No vision on the map. For uh, Secret just... One ward by the river, which I don't think it does a whole lot when the enemy team is sitting in your jungle, keeping all the lanes pushed in. Yep. 
And here they come. Net worth, 11K, 12K, 13K. Easy gold. There it is. Eight runes in a row. That'll mean a blink dagger soon for the Death Prophet, a Mjolnir for resolution, and... Jesus, Snaking just bought his BKB, already has 1,200 gold to go towards the Assault Cura. Yeah. Thinking about going for the Glimpse play, they managed to get a swap back onto the Axe, leaving him in no man's land. Now, the Blade Mail did a lot of damage back to resolution, but as the Blade Mail fades, they'll finish off Fada. Yeah, the Blade Mail is so good against resolution right now, but... Oh, he used ult, sure. The Axe is so useless now, you gotta feel terrible playing Axe right now, because if you yeah. jump in... You're gonna get used or swapped, and you can't do anything. And if you go on the DP, well, he'll get swapped, right? And or he just pops the uh, A on this. It's it's a really tough game, and Storm should not sit and wait for too long. Now they get a DD, a more incentive to push. Level three ult on Lycan coming up. This is the time, guys. There's no reason to sit around. I agree with you, but. I bet they won't push because they're going to be like, ah, but if we lose the fight, we might give up Roshan, so... Yeah, for the Rosh, gotta wait for that. Oh, and it's a minute. short Roshan too, 40 seconds. I'm sure they're going to be happy about that once, uh, once it does... Once it does spawn. Manta just trying to get as much split push options for Ace. It's this game, they clearly cannot win this anytime soon, so they're gonna try and hope and pray for the uh, the late game win. Unlikely, but they're gonna try for it. They're gonna run an ace though, doesn't have the BKB, so he is definitely dead. All he can do is turn and fight with the Eclipse. Gets one kill on the Disruptor. Yuar managed to catch him with the, oh, that Blade Mill's doing a lot of work, but again, the swap back. Yuar comes in, Spirit Siphon, Yule Scepter, dodging all that damage, getting some HP out of it, and Gyrocopter can't commit. He knows he has to back up, especially with this Lycan coming in hot. He's already killed the Skyrath Mage. Looking for Fada's Axe. Won't be able to find him. A one for three exchange to the favor of VGJ Storm once again. No way they can fight. They just get destroyed. He just has to turn and try to get a kill, which he does successfully on the ace, but... And there's no way they can win these fights. They have too, too many items at this point. Pretty hopeless for them, Radiant unless they do some risky move, which they, they kind of like, that's why they're out there, because they have to farm, they have to, can sit in the base. But, it's too hard. Too hard, and now they see Roche, as you said, it's an early Roche, they're all gonna rotate. All our ults are down, no worries, we'll just kill Roche while we're waiting for them, and then, then you'll end the game. I'm sure they'll end the game. Agnum Scepter, or Yaps, or... Don't think he's actually gonna get it, but we'll see. Maybe a massive team fight to Secret's favor here off of this four-man smoke. Maybe... They I don't think they want to go for the Lycan because of how tanky he is. They have to do something at least. Cannot sit in base. Slowly lose. They're gonna bait out the Luna. This is the moment. But the shape shift's already gonna come out from the like, and they're not really in a great position to be able to counter that. He goes into the high ground, pops BKB. They managed to get the call, but it's a tanky like with the swap back over into Fada. He's halfway dead. They managed to get the vengeful spirit as he swaps in. He's already out. BKB wearing low on mid one. Him and Ace need to be able to get out of this fight. They're actually buying back. Maybe they could still go for it with the buybacks coming in. And the TP's onto the shrine. They try and jump forward to catch some of these heroes, but they just can't do it. Sniper and Lycan are already out, and the Death Prophet hasn't been found yet. In fact, he's gonna try and cut some creepways or something here in this top lane. They're still desperate. This is where they win or lose the game. They have to play for Roshan, right? Yep. Very what? desperate for a kill here. It could be good. They have to kill the Sniper first. They managed to catch him. A big combo. That will open up the Roshan pit. Yuar loses his Aeon Disc as well. A valuable cooldown. And now they can go for the Roshan pit. They couldn't do it before because the sniper is just too good at being able to fight around that area, especially on Radiant side. So no, no buyback on sniper at all. There, but I'm pretty sure they still contest this. Lycan's got his ult. DP still super strong. He's almost 18. If you contest though, you lose this fight. I, I think it's worth the risk, but I'm just saying it could be Secret's way back into this game I think for they sure. Just eat them up right now. Shapeshift coming in. 
Managed to get the call onto Lycan with a backhanded shot. Oh. going out, trying to finish up this road shot, and Lycan is down. Fada, make short work of him. You are. He's having a hard time. Ace, they managed to take away that Aegis. Gyrocopter dies inside of the pit. Picks up the Aegis. You are. He sacks away the cheese. Now he's going to be able to just fight into mid one. He's full HP with Spirit Siphon still to run through. Managed to get a call out, though. Almost swap back. He dies. MSS will go down as well. Sure enough, Team Secret win an engagement. And they try to all contest. the runes are up. For the love of God, pick <laughs> up the runes now. Don't let them TP. Bulldog, please. They That's just want to fight no, inside no, no, no. of the Roshan pit. <laughs> There's so up. many things to be amped up about, but you're all about <laughs> the four bounty roots they're going to get. Feels good. They got him. There you go. <laughs> uh, that, that fight is completely won on Axe calling that like him. Yeah. At so, if that doesn't happen, they get overrun there. Super big by Fada. And I guess this is just my problem with it. I felt like Secret wasn't going to win the game if they got Aegis and Cheese. But losing a team fight and giving away Aegis and Cheese, like now I think there's a real opening for Secret to come back into this game. Yeah, that was a big swing right now. Exactly what they needed. They waited patiently for the opening and they found and took it. Resolution showing the top lane. Secret are going to try and cut through this tier one tower area. They're going to run into a couple heroes first, though. Shape shift going out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yule Scepter's himself to dodge the magic missile. The Lycan's going to go for some of the easier heroes. Poppy is going to be up first. He sees Ace, who's dangerously low with the assassinate on him. Instead, he goes for Fada, who's going to be glimpsed back as he tried to TP away. Getting a little cocky there, is still because his storm is stronger, still. And the Nathros as well, yeah. but even their hero composition, it's just everything is stronger. So, oh, it was just unfortunate how everything spotted happened. Him. He found Yaps, or but he's SVG fast. is so far away. 491, he's... coming through. <laughs> this is not the uh, the mobile tank MSS. All right, he's stuck around uh, a little bit too long. He's going to get glumps now. Got to get that creep. He was like, they're not still chasing, are they? <laughs> No, well, they are. Not sure if he could come out in any way there, actually. If he TP, he would just get glimpsed. Yeah, I'd that's true. Maybe if he was in there. I'm not sure the range there, but that'll see us at least. But at least, at least now there's hope for Secret. They're still in a bad position. And we see Butterfly right now on Gyro, so we should get an M MKB. He's going to be first, though. Sure, sure. That's all right. I still think the Shadow Blade has not really done that much this game. Yeah. That is very true. BKB Death Prophet. Big pickup. Doesn't go for the Blink Dagger that he was thinking about earlier. That AC that we mentioned a while back for snaking is uh, about to finish up. Just needs the recipe now. So a rather large gold lead still for VGJ Storm, but diminished from what it once was. Yep. And uh, this is uh, how you get a little bit punished, because if they just pushed a little bit earlier, they wouldn't have had this chance to fight Roche. I yeah. think that was still the right move to push a bit earlier. It's risky. A little risky, not really risky, though. It, like, there's always that, when is it, when are you playing too safe? I think they played a little bit too safe. And they got punished for it, and now Secret is kind of in the game. It looked really bad, but they're, they can't play now, at least. Aghanim Scepter being built by MSS. Mm. That's a pretty cool act. If I remember correctly, it's when you uh, you respawn. You never you never die. You basically, you're still illusion of yourself. Yeah. It's still stun, so it's, it's really good. Like, yeah. I like that one a lot. Yeah, so now he can... He'll swap in, he'll just die again, but that's okay. He'll still be able to cast Magic Missile and Wave of Terror. I think that's... uh. Pretty solid choice by him. How's mid one's farm doing? He does have the butterfly working towards Satanic now. Getting really strong. He went for the call down cooldown. That's very uncommon. Usually always go movement speed. Very odd why we would do that, especially against a sniper when you need that movement speed and Lycan. Yeah. That's I guess because he feels he could get off get it off twice in a team fight. I don't, I don't like it that much. Maybe he's gonna go the global call down as well and he's going to use that to like push out the side lanes yeah he could do that but the homing missiles is also so good yeah but maybe he needs to do this we'll see not a huge fan smoke coming up now or no 
Disruptor's also trying to get an Aghanim Scepter. In fact, he's halfway through to it. Like in Shapeshift, just gonna dive into that high ground area with his uh, wolves and such, see if they can get a glimpse opportunity, and they found one Blade in Poppy. Mail. Blade Mail activated, sends a lot of damage back from the assassination into the Sniper. But they lose a lot in return, honestly, with the Necronomicon minions dying. Almost think that's gold advantage. Two secret, now the Shapeshift is down. Fada was hoping to be able to force a fight with his Shadow Blade, but it wears out. Plays inside the trees and teepees away. And since both of them saw each other fighting bottom, it means no one's top. And there's something laying there that's <laughs> very important. And who, let's see who's getting it. Yes. Yes, he knows. MSS. Uh, he's your boy. He, he listens. He knows. There we go. Gold. We will see the difference in gold here. Feels good, man. He knows how to play Dota. 10k lead because of that. Well done, Nemesis. Just those two is like over a thousand gold. It is a lot, for sure. Sniper Lake, you know, it's, he's very scary, this hero. He, he dishes out so much damage. Like even, no matter how far you're like, what is happening? I'm just dead. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen to these heroes if they and, don't deal and, with him. And he's gonna do it from about 1200 range. Yep. Which is absurd if he gets the level 25 attack range talent. Uh, Skyrath Mage, again, thinking he's really putting on a show of how to be able to use this Lycan when you're ahead as just a killer. He's just going ham with it. He just uses it every time and goes in the fight back. Okay, this is their opportunity. They're oh, going to pop the smoke. MSS position himself. He's going to be able to take that down. The shapeshift is wrapping around from behind. It's going to wear out soon, but Yuar still has the Exes, and they're going to go for Ace. And Ace just man fights with his PKB. He's going to get ripped apart with his physical damage. Gets off the Eclipse. It's only going to go down for a second. A pins of time, and it's not enough for mid one to be able to win the fight for him. They're going to chase down the rest of these heroes. Fauna does successfully TP out, so that could have been worse. He got the sniper, and that's what was most important. Great positioning by Axe there. Somehow getting the sniper out of all the heroes and that's all he needs to do he needs to make sure find a sniper because sniper will die unless vengeful is up because he'll get swapped then but if he just keeps getting that sniper that's that's how you win the game but that's going to be really hard yeah that's why uh resolution's trying to get a satanic so he can kind of counteract some of the damage that's being dealt back to him Not a by the blade fan mail. Of that. if you get called and you don't have satanic up you're going to die instantly what would you rather have in that case? Well, you still need some MQB. Both the cores have uh, Butterfly coming up, or... Uh, oh, Luna decided to switch off it. Go AC instead. All right. Makes... It's pretty good against Lycan. Yeah. Still, uh... Butterfly is probably better. My opinion. Illusion. All the illusion or summons missing. And Sniper. There is at least the, uh... The fact that when the BKBs are down, the, the Mjolnir hits do pierce the evasion. Yeah. DP's closely getting to 25, one of the best talents in the game, Perma Haste. Pretty scary talent. And it's getting to, he's a little bit far behind now, but he's still gonna do so much damage. Once he gets at 25, this hero is ridiculous. Get 10 armor, he needs it badly. It's not like, it's not Sniper that's the only threat. They, the other two cores are doing so much as well. Yeah, we saw the way that the Exorcism pretty easily dispatched the uh, the Luna. And this Lycan is <laughs> just a menace to any of these supports. Lycan He's gonna five. scythe? That's, that's an item for, for a Lycan? Yeah, it's Hex is like one of the best late game items in the game. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. You disable it here for three and a half seconds. Okay, so but w if you want to disable, why not Abyssal? Uh, hold on, we'll check that in a second because it's going to be a fight. gets on top of Puppy, but you are. Aeon Disc, going to be activated, plus his BKB, getting a lot of Spirit Siphon charges. He still has his uh, Yule Scepter to be able to fall back on, but activates it now, going to set up with a global cooldown. He will be able to take him out. Yule Scepter, Eclipse goes down, Assassination will finish off the Luna. Snaking left that kill to the Sniper. 
Trying to catch these extra heals. Scott Vision of mid one with the BKB down. That is a huge glimpse. They're going to try and catch out the uh, sniper, though, but they do manage to get the disruptor first out. Resolution pop at his BKB will just fight against Fawn. It doesn't really care about the blade mail of Puppy either. He'll rip through him. Rampage for Sniper. Checking for more as all the buybacks being thrown out. Finally, they tap go Resolution with mid one buying back into it. He'll finish off the rest of EJJ Storm. It's only him and Yuar left now with a buyback from the Skywrath Mage. It'll scare Yuar away from this fight. Somehow, some way, Secret do hold in that engagement with all of their buybacks coming out. Yeah, that, that fight is insane how they live there. They're sending the two cores, uh, DP and Lycan in first, and meanwhile Sniper is just hitting an Ogre all the way to the left. So there's three heroes on Ogre for so long that Lycan and DP are just dying and backing off. Obviously, with all the buybacks coming into play there. And they're gonna get a Roche because of it. And look at what uh, that Favot is doing. He's hitting creeps in the jungle. Instead of picking up the goddamn root, <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking, how, how he plays so like this. Pretty annoying. Pretty I'm just annoying. saying pushing out the mid lane would probably be a good idea with a double siege wagon set up. But after that, I agree with you. Get those bounty runs. He's going to try and head over there now. It's yeah. a bit late. Now it's a little risky because he's doing, he's doing it so late. Yeah. If he dies now, that'd be funny. He doesn't dare to go for it. Yeah, he doesn't want to go up to that high ground. 3k lead. Somehow Storm have been able to throw this away. And I think a big reason is because they did play too safe. They waited for too long. Yeah. Gave that opportunity for Secret to come back into the game. And now they're going to have to deal with almost a six slotted Luna who's closing in on that 25 talent. The, uh, the lifesteal. A big pickup. Especially when you get a Satanic as well. He's going to have tons of sustain. And that's maybe where that Scythe of Ice is going to be all important for the uh, Lycan. Yeah. Being able to stop the Luna from keeping that sustain in He's his pocket. He's still level 25 now, so 600 how hero health. That's quite a lot. Really yeah. good for Sniper. Really good for the Death Prophet too, right? Yeah. But the cores are so strong now. I, mean, I saw Lycan just manning up against Luna, and Luna was like, I, I'm cool, I don't care if you're hitting me. I'm hitting you back. And it's gonna get us a tonic soon. This game has gone too late. Now everyone is healing 25. Luna's gonna get 25 life steal soon. Gyro, let's see what he went for. He went for a homing missile still. So that's really scary because all the BKBs are getting pretty low now. Yeah. Seven on uh, Lycan. Eight on DP. They've lost the control of this game now. This is terrible. Sniper are still top form. Uh, the Satanic, I don't know if that's a winning item. Yeah. Not sure if that's a winning item here. He went for six shrapnel. Really? Of the range. Why do you think that is? Usually when you have something... If you get too much of something, it's, it, it loses its diminishing returns. Like you have already okay. enough range as it is. Range, I, I usually go range myself because it's... More convenient, but if you ever played Sniper, Shrapnel is such a good spell, and we have nine of them in a team fight. Everywhere on the team, it's so good. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Movement, sleep, movement speed uh, slow, 30% is pretty good, and a 450 a AoE. You can have as many of those as you want. Oh, I saw the signs of the global concussive shot ready to go for the Skyrath Mage. So every once in a while, he's just going to be able to ping some of these heroes. It's really good because you see where they are on the yep. map and the vision it gives is so useful. So useful on the axe, getting some easy farm here. Yeah. That's a lot of gold. That's uh, 600 gold. And I should probably get maybe a BKB now so you can't get Yules anymore. Is that still a problem? But they only have one Yules. And usually DP will only use it on himself. I'm not sure what he would buy now. I still like BKB. Looks like he's going BKB. He's got the help. Why would he, he go? He just up? brought himself a wind lace? He just bought a wind lace. What? Very interesting. That's some fada plays right there. Uh, well, I'm hey, pretty sure it, he bought it as well. He didn't have yeah. it stored. He bought it. <laughs> if that extra 20 movement speed is what allows him to <laughs> catch the sniper or the lichen, all right. That then he's, he's, he's a speed. genius. 15 seconds. The 45 minute bounty runes. 
Looks to be a passive you just two each. That's how it needs to be. At this point, they started adding up so much. They give so much now. And uh, Secret now have the net worth lead. After being behind for so long, they finally the control the game. They've taken tons of towers. I made one feeling so confident. He doesn't feel like he needs uh, any rape here this game. Just go normal items and double concussive coming through. And they're going to feel super good if they can actually just stay away from fights for another two and a half minutes. All of their buybacks back. I mean, that was supposed to be a big advantage from the last engagement is that it cost all of the buybacks on the side of Secret to be able to win the fight. And they did win that fight. Excellent. But if they lost one engagement after that, it was the end of the game. And we just, VGJ Storm, they played cautious in the beginning. And I, I feel like it's just costing them even more now. Yeah, and this Bloodlust Puppy being useful here. Bloodlust is soon evening 20 here. That attack speed is no joke, like 100 attack speed on Gyro and Luna, uh, yeah. th they will shred anyone who mess up against them. And and Gyro is getting so strong at this point, Flakken has so long range that he will kill Sniper if he's close by. I've never looked at uh, Ogre's 25 talent before. 90 <laughs> movement speed? Yeah, that's... It's pretty good, like 90 yeah. movement speed, you're running fast. But the you're, fire blast damage though. You're no longer trundling along. You're no longer the ogre. You're you're almost mad. You're blue. Speed. You're Sonic the Hedgehog at that point. <laughs> and here we go, a team that's not playing too safe. Uh, here we go, boys. Yeah, like secret. Up. They didn't have buybacks. It didn't matter. They played around each other and they got aggressive. They took towers. But pushing high ground against sniper is one of the biggest nightmare of all time. Yeah, that's true. They, they need to kill him outside base. They're not getting up there otherwise. And Lycan, you know. Lycan tried to come in from behind. I think he was going for uh, kind of a pick off on any support. Did not work that way for him though. And now Shapeshift is down. But uh, I believe if you're secret, buybacks are coming up in a minute, but so is Roshan. So maybe it's just better to control the map for now. You could get the uh, first Roshan of the game for yourself. Yeah, and now we got also got the the refresher on it. Not super good on their lineup. Not sure who you would give it to even. Maybe Axe, because you can do double blink. Like you could even yeah. use it for a simple reason like that. Because you can use it and you can re you refresh your dagger when you're taking damage. Yeah. I Get mean, it, if he does catch somebody, double call, double blade mail, that's got to kill anybody in the game, right? Yeah. It's all about the sniper. If, he, if he's uncontested, he will kill everyone. All right, they already killed most of Lycan's stuff, but they're going to try and go for the Manta Plank. Couldn't get the Scythe of Bison in order to enable the Glimpse. I think that's what Snaking was really gunning for there, but now he has to run away as the homing pistol is chasing him down. Yeah, that, that worked 20 minutes ago. Snaking, but you're not that strong anymore. Yeah. They caught up. They're they're stronger than you now, sir. Dude, think think about that though. If he like every single time he likens shapeshifts and runs at somebody, they have to pop BKB, right? Because otherwise they get scythe and glimpse back. Yeah. That's that's kind of cool. As long as they just fight, man, they can counter it. Yeah, for sure. And at this point, they can just te take team fights if they want to. This concussive shot is so annoying. Look at this. All right, now we know exactly where you are. You can't smoke. If you're too close, we know you might smoke. Get a bit slow, that vision. And the cooldown on that spell, it's, it's actually insane. I think this is one of the reasons where you see this here a lot. Sure, it's, it's level 20, but... Dude, Stinking's crazy. He's you just farming mid lane without shapeshift, without BKB. Now, Secret's not gonna go for him. They're gonna go for the high ground. They have this concussive shot, spotting on multiple heroes. One of them's gonna be MSS. The other one, maybe Resolution. He's gonna Shadow Blade away, so it's just the support that dies. But, Lycan getting caught, actually going for the kill on Puppy instead. Fine to try to catch him. BKB gonna be activated, goes for the Skyrath Mage. Now activates that device onto Luna. Luna down to half HP, but sinking was too low. A stun on Ace, 
denied it with the BKB. You are with the Zayon disc now turning against Midwan. Midwan does not have a whole lot of saves. He does have a cheese. Gonna pop it now. Turning, fighting up against you. Oh, but you are. He popped the Ghost Scepter just in time to dodge the call. Now fighting up against Ace. Ace trying to uh, activate his Satanic. He will be able to keep himself alive. And so will Midwan. The assassination not gonna be enough. Death Prophet goes down. Dead for two minutes time. And a concussive shot. It'll catch more. MSS. That's gonna be a dieback for him as well. VGJ Storm back to the base with only three, maybe less. They just caught the disruptor as well. Two heroes left alive to defend the base for VGJ Storm. A buyback comes out from disruptor, but still uh, three versus five to hold on to what should have been a guaranteed game for VGJ Storm. It's just a secret buybacks have been so good this game. It's been really what well been winning them the game. And now pushing against Sniper, look at, look at this. Like, good luck, have fun. <laughs> There are two people dead. They're like, we can't push, guys. We can't get to Sniper, and he's doing yep. so much damage. If they can finish off this tier three, then Luna can get the bouncing glaives onto yep. these buildings. That would make a world of difference. Global concussive. He's the bouncer. He's dying. Yeah, he's actually Gyros. dying to this. He's not keeping up his HP. Takes a little bit of blade mail damage, activates his Satanic up against Poppy. He'll finish him up, but Poppy, he had fought, managed to get the call onto him. They just blow him up with the Mystic Flare. He's gonna have to buy back here. SVG on the side, Flack and his shot should be able to finish him up. Mid one is keeping himself alive with a Satanic as well. The Lycan couldn't get any of these kills. Satanic assassination shot blocked by the Lincolns. Fada is playing insanely good. He's keep getting those call on the sniper. I'm not sure how this, it's a Shadow Blade. So usually where you go with this on the initiator because you don't see him. You stop thinking about him and the, oh, boop, he's just there with a blink. Radiant just a great, great performance by Axe. He might be going for another one here. If he gets him, it's it's over. Yeah. It's over if he gets him. The second lane of Rax is gone. Secret. Are they going to try and finish things up? Go for the Megas here, but Death Prophet alive in eight seconds time. The Exism will be up. Roshan's up and a double damage is right next to the pit. A perfect opportunity for Secret to secure this game. MKB is finally out on the sniper, but a little bit delayed. Yeah, that's gonna be delayed. too little too late, I believe. Roshan. He's not going down without a fight, but he will go down eventually. It's the BJJ Storm. Slow. They're not gonna get there. They're not gonna get there in time. Fon is gonna be able to get the call onto Lycan. Lycan swapped out of there. MSS does manage to run out of the Mystic Flare. Now Snaking trying to use his movement speed to catch Fon, but Fon is BKB still activated. Can't slow him down just yet. BKB fades out now. Now gonna go for the kill. Uar jumps forward with his blink tag. Now they're gonna turn and fight. They manage to blow off the Lycan. He immediately buys back, but the Axe is still alive. He's gonna survive through all of that. The Spirit Vessel will not take him out. Secret will retreat and deal with the top wave push that was coming in. Secure in the knowledge that they have the Aegis and Cheese to themselves as well as a refresher shard. Lycan is just melting. Just melting. It's 53 minutes in and the bounty is lying there. It's unbelievable. Look at them. <laughs> Look at how much gold. Right, right now. You sound so disgusted 50, every 50 time. Minutes. It's like it's two minutes, uh, two gold per minute. It's uh, 100 gold, 140 per each. You get like uh, almost 700, 700, 700 gold. Yeah, seven, almost seven per gold. each. Yeah. Oh. Come on, man. That's right, they're going for it. But at this point, to be fair, usually it's about how you play now. If you get. If Sniper gets another item, it doesn't, that's not gonna win the game. It's how you play, who's get the initiation, if Axe gets the call, that's yep. what's gonna win the game. So gold is not as important at this point of the game. All three cores on secret, not only have buyback, we're gonna have, uh, well, Ace has a cheese in his backpack. The Aegis is on mid one with a refresher shard on him as well. So he's gonna have BKB Satanic for both of his lives. He needs to get an initiation somehow on VGJ. Like, if they could get, because they got Axe and Disruptive, he could get a decent one. But it's so hard. They really have no initiation at this point. It's a big problem. Like in running in, that's not the best initiation. No. Because he just dies. The farm is so high. Pressure shard on Gyro. Oh, Axe is going for a play here. Boots of travel on him in the sky. They're going to try and pick off the, uh, the Lycan. They know. He pops the shape shift. A little bit scared from the uh, concussive shot scouting him out. Level 25 on Skyrest. 300 GPM. 
Got nothing on Puck. We're getting a lot of 25 now. Yeah, he's gonna For add. For a circle AOE call? Yeah. We don't see that a lot. That AOE is <laughs> massive now. If yeah, it's not you see 100, like, what? That's nothing, but, you know, it is a lot. It is a lot. It matters quite a bit. I mean, yeah. Call is your game-winning spell, right? Yeah. Anything to buff that up. No no one's like, oh, the battle hunger won us the game. Like, not, not this late. 55 minutes in. And very back and forth. Game one looked like VGJ Storm, but the way they handled the first 20 minutes of the game, thought they were just going to be able to take it, but play too carefully, play too sloppy at the same time, ends up giving an opening to Team Secret, and now they're the ones who are all but guaranteed to close out this first game. But as you said, it's all up to how they play, and pushing into that, that last lane of racks against a sniper is still a bit of a precarious position for Secret. So much money now. Still, it's so hard to end the game because of that goddamn sniper. Yeah. At this point, Axe knows that they probably have sentries everywhere and he can't just run in and call him. Like, that's not gonna happen. But All right, smoke. man, smoke up. Sniper in good position. See if they can get inside the pace. Concussive shot, dodged there by the blink. Shapeshift gonna be activated here, trying to chase out. All right, that but, was an interesting ult. Yeah, that shapeshift isn't going to do anything. Seeker just going to bide their time. Come on, man. Smoke wears out. They're revealed now. And they head back up to that top lane. A lot of valuable runes, seeing as there's two every two minutes. You control the base like this, or control the map, you could just kind of play for it, and one of them's going to be an illusion for illusion. the Luna, which is really, pretty much free tower damage. Really good. If you just sense his bottom out, and you just... They don't have good poker stop. They, they, Gyro can't really hit it. It's pretty yeah. scary. But they have they have Aegis, so they should, they should man up now. With the illusions as well, when you look at this, they do so much damage. They're going to get... They're going to get thrown it. Managed to get the call on the line, can see if they can blow him up. The Mystic Flare and Swap back might be enough to be able to save him. They brought Fada in, and it looks like they will be able to take out at least the Luna, but it cost the like in their life. Yawar thinking about chasing, not going to go for it. Actually does. Blink forward, gets the Spirit Siphon, slowing down some of these heroes. He's in a bit of trouble, though. Yule Scepter buys him in a bit of time. Holy Missile locked him down as he came down, and Fada managed to jump in, gets a kill, multiple supports, and now it's all up to resolution. Buyback coming out from the death prop, but he's being chased down, and the Glades are doing so much work. BKB activated by resolution with a Shadow Blade. He gets away, but the buyback die back for the death prophet. Leaves resolution isolated. He starts throwing down assassinations. He gets the kill on Yapser. Yapser responds with a buyback instantly. Vengeful Spirit will wow. join the sniper in this hold of the base. But BGJ Storm will call it here. They know the sniper can't do it alone. And Secret, they complete the comeback for this game one win. That was a big lead as well. Secret played so patiently. The problem for Storm was that they played it even more patiently, and that was a problem. That's why they lost the game. You have a lead, you need to take you need to take that into matter and do something. They waited for Roche, and then they lost it. That's the nightmare, right? You lose at Roche, a mm -hmm. fight, and then they get Roche, and it's a disaster. And that's exactly what happened. I so, totally agree with you. you yeah. When you have the advantage, you got to make sure you actually take the steps to, to actually close out the game and not just that's hold right. on to it. You're just given opportunities. More time passes, more opportunity for an upset.